Potty training can seem very overwhelming when you have a speech delayed or nonverbal child. But today I'm gonna share my top six tips with you on how to potty train your child. My name is Missy Yondo. I'm the owner of Slumber and Bloom. I'm your mom life bestie, pediatric sleep consultant, and potty training coach. If you like tips and tricks on sleep training, potty training, and all things motherhood, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. I've had several parents reach out to me and letting me know that their child may be nonverbal or just speech delayed. And yes, you can still potty train your child. I'm just gonna jump right in and give you tip number one and I want you to have realistic expectations that it may very well take you longer to potty train your child. Expecting this to be a two or three day process is really unrealistic and your child is going to need more support throughout this process. Tip number two, I want you to start doing this a week to two weeks before you decide to jump into potty training. What I want you to do is have a log every single day and every 30 minutes, I know this is going to be tedious, but every 30 minutes, I want you to check your child's diaper. See if it is wet, if it is dry, if they have pooped, any or all of the above and write it down on your log. You will start to see patterns that maybe every two hours your child is wet. So now you know that when you go into potty training, every two hours you should bring your child to the bathroom. Many children also have a predictable poop schedule. So when you know your child needs to poop, you can encourage them to sit on the toilet for a longer period of time. Do not skip this step because it will be very, very useful for you when you actually start potty training. So tip number three really goes without saying, but I have to say it, is that you have to be consistent. Whether your child is nonverbal or just speech delayed or not any of the above, then you still need to be consistent. You want this to be a fun learning experience for your child, so you need to make sure that you are positive and uplifting and that you are being very consistent with that behavior and that attitude throughout your entire potty training journey as well as just parenting in general. Your child will feed off of your energy, so if you are down in the dumps, your child is going to be down in the dumps and they are not going to want anything to do with this process. So you need to consistently be positive and encouraging and let them know everyone uses the bathroom. This is something that we're gonna start learning how to do. And that also goes hand in hand with my next tip is that your parenting attitude is everything. It's everything. The way that you act is the way that your child is going to act and whether they pick up on it immediately or if they pick up on it over a span of time, they are definitely going to pick up on your attitude. So just keep it in mind. If you need a break, take a break. It's also important to communicate this with the school or childcare facility or whoever else is taking care of your child, especially when it pertains to going to the bathroom and potty training, but also across the board. It's really important that everyone is on the same page and that everyone has a positive attitude, especially centered around using the bathroom. If everyone's not on the same page, then your child is going to get inconsistent messages and they will be more confused and probably will have a harder time with potty training. The next tip that I wanted to talk about was having a very, very detailed visual chart and or just visual cues. You want your child to understand every single step that goes into going to the bathroom, not only so that they can look at these visual cues and follow them, but also if they're struggling, that they can point to each visual cue that you have. If they're struggling and they don't understand what to do or maybe they don't want to, they can definitely point to it. So maybe if it's pushing down their pants and they don't want to, or maybe they need help, you can teach them the sign for help. We'll get into that in a bit. And they can point to the cue that they need help with. Now since I started talking about signing and sign language, it is another thing that you 110% need to teach your child. 
whether it's just toilet, when they are just going to the bathroom, or if you're saying pee or poop, then you need to be teaching your child these signs. If they cannot communicate verbally, they can absolutely communicate through sign language, so make sure that you are teaching these well in advance. You want your child to have this knowledge long before they need it, so start as soon as possible. Now in terms of having your visual chart, another tip that I wanted to let you know is that you should really, really, really be practicing hand over hand with your child every single step when they go to the bathroom. So what you could do is point to their visual cue card, let them know, step one, turn on the bathroom light. Step two, close the door. Step three, lift up the toilet lid. Point to every single one and take your child's hand and point to it as well. Let them know this is what we're doing and then we do it together. As your child gets used to doing these things hand over hand and they're not fighting it and they're happy about it, then you can give them some autonomy and let them do it themselves. This will definitely help ease the process and your child will understand the expectations in the bathroom because you've been doing it with them all along. So now that you have some tips on how to potty train when you have a speech delayed or nonverbal child, I think you are more than ready to jump into this journey. If you want help along this journey, I created a potty training course. This is the potty party. Click the link in the description box down below, buy my course. You will have seven days of email support and all time access to my private Facebook group. I am so excited to be able to help you along this potty training journey, and I can't wait to see you inside the course. If you have any questions, send me an email, pottyhelp at slumberandbloom.com, and keep blooming. Mwah.